Okay. Here we go. Time for my face reveal. Civ fans, you are the best fans in gaming. Thank you for 30 great years. Okay, you'll have to forgive my memeing. Today's video is actually about this, Civilization VI. To satisfy your eyeballs, I've got some Civ VI gameplay in the background, but actually what we're talking about is Civilization's 30th anniversary. Those clips you saw at the beginning of the video were part of a trailer that was released officially on the official Civ YouTube channel called Civilization 30th Anniversary Trailer, and then a few words that didn't really make much grammatical sense. But the point is, Civ is 30 years old, and they're gonna do something pretty special to celebrate it. They have released a few things. There's a few job listings that are quite interesting out of Firaxis Studios, if anybody's interested. But also we've heard some interesting rumors around Civilization 7, and we have some inkling over what Civilization's 30th celebration, its 30th birthday will be. So sit back and relax, and let's jump straight in and I'll cover all of those things and more. For starters, let's talk Civilization 6 and the 30th anniversary. So uh, as you saw at the start of the video, there was this video, it had Sid Meier in it, that wasn't me in case you didn't realize. And basically the gist of it is, hey fans, Civilization is 30 years old, started with Civ 1, now I've got Civ 6, what's next? And that's the big question that I want to tackle in this video, what is next? So as we know, there have been some rumors around Civilization 7 for quite a while now. That's largely due to the fact that Civilization 6 was formally wrapped up uh, earlier this year, in 2021, uh, after the New Frontier Pass had finished releasing. That was, as far as we're aware, and almost certainly the final DLC expansion pass for Civilization 6. Yes, there's a chance we could see some more. And honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if maybe we saw a couple more civs or something like that. But as far as we know, that is the end. And it's been six years between Civilization V and Civilization VI, or dare I say, they both had roughly a five or six year lifespan. Let's not talk beyond Earth in between. That needs no introduction or explanation in today's video. However, so we've got these rumors circulating around Civilization VII, and we know that Firaxis posted this job listing around a, quote, narrative lead to join their studio, unquote, for their next AAA strategy title. It was an exciting opportunity to, to join some of the industry's most beloved franchises like XCOM and Civ. And I should address now the elephant in the room. We know that Firaxis are also working on Midnight Suns, a game with Marvel, in conjunction with Marvel, that's very similar to XCOM, that sort of tactical uh, bird's eye view, tactical shooter with some strategy elements involved. I'm actually quite excited for it, but, I think that they're probably likely also working on civilization, right? And I think probably all of you watching this would agree with me. It would be very weird to consider a world where Firaxis wasn't doing something to do with Civ, right? And I think, and maybe I could be living off hopium here, but I think that it probably is Civilization 7. There are some other interesting things that came out of the studio before we talk a little bit more about Civ's 30th anniversary that I wanted to cover first. Have a look at this page on their website. There wasn't just one job listing, there's actually many, 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 many job listings available. So if anybody happens to be an art sourcing manager, a character modeler, a graphics programmer, or that narrative lead, maybe you should get in touch with them. My point here is they're clearly expanding on a team which they already had to go further and harder. And what title would require more effort than Civilization VII? However, you're not actually just here today to listen to me hype up Civ VII or give you predictions. Although if I had to give some, I'd probably say we'll get it teased or announced sometime this year and it'll release around March of next year. That's my feeling. Anyway, that's just me. I'm probably over ambitious. Let's talk about what they've actually said. So uh, currently we don't quite have the full concrete details on what Civilization's 30 year anniversary will unfold, how and what it will do. But they've hinted at three crucial things. 
sales, celebrations, and announcements. These have been hinted at across their Twitter, across their social media platforms, uh, really everywhere where they have been talking. They've talked about this on Steam as well in the Steam news. It's everywhere. First and foremost, obviously we should accept sales. You guys know I love a good sale on some strategy games. I try and shout them from the rooftops whenever I get grips of them. I've even been sponsored once before to cover them. So I love these sales. I love getting strategy games at a good price. And I dare say, if any of you have been thinking about buying Civilization VI, any of its DLC, Civ V, that complete edition, I would really, really, really recommend you just hold off because we're likely to see some pretty spicy things in October of 2021, right the way through until Christmas and the new year out to 2022, I imagine. There's going to be some good deals on the horizon, so just hold fast and watch these fantastic YouTube videos and maybe they can tide you through like they tided me through back in the day. Anyway, that's the sales aspect. The next one is celebrations, and we've actually seen... Firaxis and Civ uh, do a little bit of this recently on Twitter. Uh, this year in particular, I've noticed a really increased presence on their social media platform. They did that battle royale, the Civ Leaders Royale, where we voted week on week to determine who was the best leader in Civilization VI. They've done a couple of other campaigns. I fully expect we will see those similar campaigns around this. And I really hope as a content creator, but also as someone who really enjoys strategy games and enjoys Civ, that these ones are more engaging than the previous, like gameplay challenges or saves. They did that one save challenge. I'd like to see them do more things like that. The question is though, what do they do them with, right? And this is a bit of a conundrum. I imagine for this period, we're not gonna see any sort of inkling of Civ 7, right? They're not just gonna turn up and be like, oh, hey, here's Civ 7, by the way, it's out now. That would be, that would be incredibly shocking and very exciting, but I doubt that that would happen. So, probably this sale period and the commotion that will take place for the rest of this year around Sid Meier's Civilization franchise's 30th birthday will largely be focused around Civilization VI. I think that's a fair prediction to make, and we should expect to see some community engagement and blah 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 around Civ VI this month, next month, and the month after to celebrate this special anniversary. By the way, if you'd like to see me cover some more Civ 5, 6, or anything else, do let me know. I love Civ, but of course we've been distracted by this beautiful humankind game. And you gotta admit, I mean, I know I'm using the Civ 5 textures, so my game, my Civ 6 game looks slightly different, but you gotta admit, humankind is looking fresh right now. <laughs> anyway, I shouldn't get too excited about humankind because the last part of this is announcements. This is the one we don't know a lot about yet, but you can bet your sorry backside as soon as we hear something, I will be shouting it from the rooftops here. I've covered off already my sort of inklings and feelings about what I would expect to hear from them, what I would expect for them to announce over the next month or so, and I do anticipate we'll get some new content. Imagine a world where they did a 30th anniversary celebration for Civ and didn't give us any inkling of new content, right? Even just Civ 5 leaders repurposed into Civ 6. It wouldn't need to be much, but man, I would love it if it was. Anyway, look, that concludes this video. I'll have some relevant links in the description below if you want to follow some of these job listings. Credit also to the Civ channel for the trailer footage that you saw at the start of this video when I uh, had a little bit of fun with it. Anyway, stay tuned. Do subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care and bye-bye.